What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 1, Section 1.1, Exercise 4 in the Calculus Single Variable 6th Edition Textbook by Hughes Hallett, Gleason, McCallum, et al. Chapter 1 is all about a library of functions. Section 1.1 is about functions and change. And in Exercise 4, we are given two points and asked to find an equation for a line that passes through those points. And so the points that we are given in this problem are... 0, 0, and 1, 1, and these are in the notation of x, comma y. So the first indices are x-coordinate, and the second indices are y-coordinate, and I'm just going to label these. I'm going to say this is point 1, and I'm going to say this is point 2. And so now we're asked to find an equation for a line that passes through these points. So the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And so what we can do is compute the slope first because we actually have all the information we need. So the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this is why I labeled my points 1 and 2 because these indices are for points 1 and 2. And so y2, which is 1, minus y1, which is 0, over x2, 1, minus x1, which is 0. This is equal to 1 over 1, which equals 1. So now we can plug this slope into our generic equation. That'll give us y equals 1 times x plus b, or this is y equals x plus b. And so now we need to find our y-intercept. And in order to do that, you need to plug in one of these two points. You can do either. It does not matter. In this case, I will be choosing 0, 0. So using point 1, that's going to give me 0 equals 0 plus b. And that means that b is equal to 0. And so now I'll plug that b into this equation here and we'll get y equals x plus 0, or the equation that we are looking for for the final answer, y equals x. And what you can do is you can actually check that that is the correct equation by plugging in your two points. So for point 1, your y coordinate is 0, and so is your x coordinate, so 0 equals 0. That's a true statement, so that checks out. And then for point 2, you have 1, 1, so your y is 1, your x is 1, 1 does equal 1, that's a true statement, check. So both points check out, and y equals x is the final answer to this problem. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.